Uh, first gear tops out at eight miles an hour. All right, so I haven't showed you guys since I've got the BMW back, but there she is. The guy did kind of get this dent out, or he was working on it. I uh, didn't do anything else to the car, except he pulled this window off track so you could get it up and down. But it'll only go down like so far, and it leaves like a crack like this. So that was the only thing he really did. I guess other than put gas in it and you know all that good stuff but we're headed to nick's house to film a new series of video with this car there'll be like a trailer come out you know introducing this car <laughs> so uh yeah back in the bmw um it still runs good um we're gonna do the the thing so i, I mentioned so the show that we're creating, this is gonna be like a really nice show, right? It's gonna be, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some really good editing put in, editing work, edit, editing work put into it. Um, it's gonna be a legit show is how we're gonna, you know, is how we're approaching it. It's, it's gonna be a legit show. This ain't gonna be like your normal vlogs like I do where I just cut and splice videos together and I'm just, you know, showing you my daily life or whatever. Because that's kind of what my channel has became. Um, I want to get back into the car and car tip, but I want to do it right. Uh, Nick has agreed to jump into it with me. We're hoping we can build something from this. Whether it be another channel that me and Nick both manage or whether we keep it on this channel and continue on with the momentum and we both manage it. That is, that is the plan going forward with this whole YouTube thing. I'm gonna, if we do end up building another channel for this said show, like if it was to take off and all that, I'm gonna keep doing vlogs. I'll keep doing this kind of stuff. It just won't be as high scaled as what I'm making out this new show to be. Because of course I want to continue my channel. I want to, I want to grow this channel to endless heights that you know would, you know, and keep you guys updated on my. Because I want to do more videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, I just got back from Nick's and uh, wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> kind of a throwing it in there. This is a uh, Vader, a Vader 125, it's 2014. It's actually like a super long name that I cannot pronounce, so I'm sorry about that, but it is a Vader 125. The first part is a weird name, because I, I put insurance on it this morning, and it was like, uh, this is not pulling up in our system. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's the first look at the um, Vader. I don't know why I put the keys in that. Uh, it runs good for the most part. Uh, I just drove it up and down the road and to the gas station and put gas in it, really. That's really all I've done. I uh, haven't rode it much, but I did order an uh, easy pull clutch. I ordered a 26 millimeter carburetor for it. I hired the 24s and the 26s will open it up a lot, so I ordered that. I went ahead and did it. It runs good like it does, but it feels like it's kind of soggy, or not soggy, um, uh, laggy. Really? I think that's what it kind of sounds kind of laggy. Uh, so I ordered the 26 millimeter carburetor. I'm hoping that does well. If not, I'll just order the, um, sorry, the light went off. If not, I'll just order the uh, 24 millimeter and put it on there because I've seen everybody use the nabbies. This is, I didn't know they used the nabbies until after, and everybody started posting in the forum or the group that they were getting nabbies. So, uh, bummer, but it's okay because it's a good carburetor. The carburetor that I got was suggested from a guy that has one of these and, and rides it around a lot. So, well, I think the only problem he had was tuning it. So, it's no big deal. But they say a new carburetor opens it up. 
and so I got the carb, I got the easy pull clutch, I got KLX Pro Taper Club. <gasps> Sorry, um, KLX Pro Taper bars, uh, just like the ones I had on my Grom before. Uh, all of these are swappable. Like everything on this can be swapped out with a Grom part, so that's what's good about it. Except for the seat, the seat's a little smaller. Uh, did get an exhaust. It's just a slip-on exhaust. And what else did I get? Oh, I also got a 17 tooth, um, a 17 tooth front sprocket because right now these this first gear uh, first gear tops out at eight miles an hour. So that 17 tooth sprocket should make it top out at like. 18 miles an hour or something like that 15 to 18 miles an hour so it's a lot better and my top speed i didn't really get up to speed because i didn't i didn't really like dig into it and get up to speed but as fast as i got down this road here was 50 50 miles an hour or 50 to 55 something like that i wasn't all the way pinned into it and like giving it all it's got but uh i was at like 7,000 rpms which i shouldn't be so and it's a four speed so with that being said i bought the 17 the 17 two sprocket and that should take it to a pretty good speed it should take it to at least 60 65 miles an hour i should gain 10 every i should gain 10 mile per hour every gear or something like that i think that's what the guy said i don't know i did a bunch of research before I, before i bought it and then all the parts I just bought could everything that this is like a what everybody recommended so these are the main parts that everybody recommends doing later on down the road they say replace your your axles and your bearings with Honda like genuine Honda parts so I will do that later um, but for right now everything's still brand new so I don't think I'll have an issue with that right now I've also seen recommendations to doing the put a heavier weight of fluid in the in the uh, in the forks, which I will do later on. But yeah, other than that, um, other than that, this is the new bike. Don't get me wrong, I still love my scooter, but I'm going to give that to Taylor because she likes it. She drives it a lot. I'm sitting at red lights while everybody's taking off. So I decided to go get a 125 like everybody else has. So that way I could keep up with everybody. Cause that was in the reasoning and getting this, I would have gotten another moped, but if I was going to spend this amount of money, I wanted it to be something I wanted. So the whole goal with this is to turn it into a sort of dirt bike, I guess, because eventually I will have knobbies on this and I will have, uh, the dirt bike front plate like I did my old Grom. It is actually red like my it is actually red like my old Honda Grom was like the first Grom that I had. So I've had three. Uh, the old Honda Grom I had, the first one, brand new one I had, it was red but it had metallic flake in it. This is just red. So other than that, there you go. <laughs> And I went and got a title for it today, or not a title, a tag for it today. So I was going to stick that on real quick, and then I was going to go get something to eat. There's no good spot to put this thing, is there? Not really. <laughs> Especially with this exhaust in the way. Ugh. Cops are gonna hound me for putting it up here like this. Let's we'll try it up there. If we have to, we'll move it. Eventually, I'll buy a. Um, eventually, I'll buy a tag bracket. But right now, I just want the tag on. All right, I got a tag on it. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get in trouble for that because it is way up under there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. No biggie.
definitely got to order a tag bracket. It's like the only thing I didn't do, unfortunately. It's legit, like just like the Grom too. I mean, everything in here is just like the Grom, just built just like it. I guess that's why they call it the Grom clone. <laughs> camper still rolling <laughs> all right i'm gonna crank my mustang and it's going to be super loud because i haven't cranked it in a couple weeks not a couple weeks i haven't cranked it in a couple days what the fuck hello okay love you bye oh my goodness hello What do you want? She said, she said, I don't want fun fishing. I said, why do you make it? She said, come on, hold on. I'm going to Taco Bell. You want some cheese roll ups? Yeah. Okay. All right. Like I said, I'm going to go to the store. I will catch you guys in the next vlog. And I'm trying to upload more, I promise. Peace.